Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big P here. You know, don't you? You know, the voice of hardcore boxing. Right, I'm just put my collar down. Uh, just how fickle are boxing fans and boxing media? Right, this is, I'm just going to tell you a little story here. Freddie Roach said that Tyson Fury should have gone for the knockout, didn't he? In the first fight with Wilder. And he was ridiculed, wasn't he? Ridiculed for for trying to make it about him and you know the, the Ben Davidson fan club. Uh, they all gave him loads of stick, didn't they? And he were ostracised out of working with Tyson in the rematch. Right? He were ostracised, or whatever they call it. Basically, he were took out of the circle. Now, this is how I look at it. We know what happened in the rematch, don't we? They're all saying that Sugar Hill and Andy Lee all of a sudden are geniuses. Oh, the geniuses, because Tyson went for knockout from round one. But well, Freddie Roach were telling him to do that, wasn't he? Because he's an offensive trainer, and he's not a defensive specialist. He's an offensive uh, specialist. And I just think that Freddie Roach didn't get his credit. Didn't get his credit, and I feel that... I thought he were right. I thought experience counted on the night. You know, Ben Davidson asked him to play it safe and he got dropped in 12 and that cost him the win. And that blemish will always be on his record. And I think after that, doubts probably set in Tyson Fury's mind. And who knows, maybe maybe they're now, uh, those doubts, maybe they're now in Billy Joe Saunders' mind as well regarding Ben Davidson. But who cares? We're going to see, aren't we? But watch it all unfold like an onion. But... I think that all them people that had a go at Freddie Roach, uh, they, know, they all need to uh, sort their heads out. Too many people at the time on social media, too many fanboys and fangirls were listening to every word that Tyson Fury said. He said Ben's a great trainer, they took it as gospel. If Tyson said the moon's made of green cheese, the same people would take it as gospel. That's when you've got a captive audience in your hand. Now all of a sudden, where's Ben Davidson now? He's hanging on to Josh Taylor for dear life, isn't he? So, that's what happens when you go from a novice trainer jumping in with undefeated world champions. Eventually the world champions see through you, don't they? Ben Davidson's got a bright future in the sport, but there's no shortcuts to success. None whatsoever. You've got to learn your craft. Alright, but people need to remember that Freddie Roach was, was saying, look, to beat Wilder you've got to set about him because it unsettles him and that's what Tyson did all right but you can still get caught but we have to give Tyson Fury credit for what he did in the rematch but he should have done it in the first fight shouldn't he but maybe he wasn't 100% like his dad said but we're going to see aren't we if they have the third fight but we'll see but it is it is what it is isn't it it is what it is but uh getting on with his third fight this may sound harsh to all you Fury Power fangirls. But I just want to say that it looks from the outset that Al Heyman, hmm, it looks like Al Heyman's dragging it out. He's got him tied down with a contract and old Frank Warren, he's saying they're going to move on, they're going to do this, they're going to do that. They've got a contract, they're not going anywhere. Frank Warren would have moved on weeks ago if he could have done, but he can't. Now, why can't he deliver for Tyson? Why can't they get the Wilder fight over the belt, over the line, sorry. If they can't get it over the line and, and defend that belt, when is he going to defend the belt, Tyson? I don't know, but it looks to me like there's a bit of, a bit of stuff to in and fro in behind the scenes. So I'm looking at court action between some of them, Tyson, Aaron, Warren, uh, Al Heyman. There's some Wilder. There's, there's, there's too many big personalities there for something not to... For something not to give, and uh, I do, that's what I think is going to happen. But you know, I don't know. But let me know what you think in comment section. Like and subscribe, and thank you for supporting the channel. Uh, I'm happy with how it's going at the moment. Keep them comments coming, good or bad. All you little trolls out there that are pretending to be soap opera actors, keep them comments coming. So, because I love being tickled. All right. But other than that, I think that Freddie Roach needs a bit of respect. Um, Babe Davison still needs respect, doesn't he, for what he did? He got all that weight off Tyson, didn't he? But like I said, when you 
we can take weight off people when it comes to the actual game plans and that 26 year old kids can't pull miracles off can they that's what I think and I think you have to learn your craft and I think we saw that with Dylan White he went with a young trainer didn't he a couple of weeks back look what happened ended up going home in an ice cream van iced so but so it is what it is isn't it but uh, alright so peace out keep on trucking don't have nightmares